Hey everybody, I want to share with you um, some of the cool new things we have coming out with um, uh, Boson Functions. Um, two features I want to show you today. Number one, I want to show you our new uh, TypeScript templates for function development. And I want to show you our new feature for simulating events, both locally and on uh, a function deployed on a cluster. So let's just jump right in. Uh, you probably all know by now how to create a, a new function project, but since um, part of this is uh, showing you how to create a TypeScript project, um, we're going to do that. Um, okay, so I'll show it to you. Uh, this time for the minus L flag, instead of Node.js or Go or whatever, I'm going to say TypeScript. Uh, and I want to specify that this is an event uh, triggered function, and we're going to call it viewer because the template for TypeScript basically is an event viewer. It just logs the events to, um, to the console. Uh, so create that and we can see that we've got a directory called viewer uh, and I can go in there and it looks kind of like a normal any other normal uh, TypeScript project. We've got a tsconfig.json, we've got a source directory. If we look at our func.yaml we can see that actually uh, the TypeScript project is still built by the same Node.js builder that our Node uh, functions are built with, so uh, no additional dependencies there. Um, let's go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, deploy this thing uh, because out of the box, um, the the, um, the function uh, works just fine on a cluster. Um, so uh, because uh, the function is deployed as a k-native service, uh, it needs to be uh, turned into an OCI container image. Uh, and that's what we're doing right now. It asks me for a registry. The default registry host is docker.io, so I can just give it my um, namespace, Lance Ball. Um, but you can see it built it pretty quickly, and now um, it's deploying that function to uh, the cluster. And I can go over here and see that, yes, that function has, um, has been deployed. Um, and now I can do knfunk emit, and emit an event and that should be received by my function over here. So if I click on this and look at the logs, um, I should see, yes, that a cloud event came in. So that's pretty cool. Um, I mentioned also that you can send events locally. I can run, um, I have another screen open here. Uh, it's called viewer, yeah. Uh, I can run knfunk run to run my function just locally on my, on my desktop here. Uh, and then I can run this kn funk emit, but with the minus k local to specify the local sync. Uh, and we can see that a simulated cloud event is sent directly here. Um, so uh, that's pretty cool. Um, let's take a quick look at, uh, at the source code. Um, actually, before we do that, I wanted to add a new um, event source. I want to throw a ping source in there. so my application uh, doesn't uh, doesn't spin down really um, so we'll say message hello I think that'll work hopefully uh, and we're gonna just uh, do the wildcard here so that it sends uh, this ping every minute um, and I can specify uh, my my uh, function as the sync for this so now my function is going to start receiving these pings and hopefully that will prevent it from spinning down while we take a look at the source code so uh, let's go over here and open up the source code uh, and we can see that uh, there's an index.ts file and you can see here we, we have a dependency on <coughs> excuse me, the upstream uh, cloud events. Uh, and fast.js runtime is the runtime that does the invocation once this function is deployed. And that's uh, that dependency pulls in uh, the context object type that we'll, uh, we are uh, receiving as the first parameter to our function uh, and invocable, which is basically the function signature that we're, we're implementing here. Um, our handle uh, is an invocable type. Uh, and then cloud event and HTTP and message, which is the return value. Uh, so um, 
Uh, we've got a uh, if we if we receive a cloud event if we don't receive a cloud event uh, we just respond with an error. Um, if we do, we pr print that cloud event out to the screen, uh, and then uh, we return uh, a cloud event itself. Right. And let's go back here, and we can see that the ping source is now spun up. Uh, it should be sending data. Yes, I'm not sure why the data is showing up as null, but we are now receiving cloud events for the ping source, so that's pretty neat. Uh, and now, actually, if I um, let's stop this, if I do uh, kn font describe, I can see that my my function is called viewer. Uh, this is the image name for it. Uh, it's deployed in this namespace. Uh, this is the URL or the route to my function, and we can see that it's actually uh, subscribed here to uh, uh, to something called default. Uh, in our case, it's the uh, default ping source. Um, and uh, that there you have it. That is uh, TypeScript and uh, simulated events uh, for boson functions. Thanks for watching.